hey squad hey i thought i would just grace y'all with an old school video i haven't did a mukbang in forever and i thought i would grace y'all on a holiday with a little small traditional thanksgiving mukbang and i have all the well not all but some of the thanksgiving classic food i have green beans some sweet potatoes, some chicken and dressing with cranberry sauce, a piece of ham. Y'all know I don't normally eat pork. This is my first time having ham in a long time. We'll see how it go down in a row. And in my coldest water bottle, I have some true um, strawberry lemonade. And uh, it's not crystal light the name is true so it's supposed to be like the natural taste strawberry lemonade and I normally have a hot glass of tea this time of year so if I look this way y'all have to excuse me I'm using a different camera I'm usually using my phone but this time I have my camera and my camera lens is opposite from my phone lens so where I normally look at my camera for vlogging for my phone is here but camera I look at a different place so but yeah so let's say the say my grave So, um, I think I'm do a little cheat meal. And after I have this cheat meal, stay tuned and I'll show y'all how I'm going to cleanse my body out of all of this. Y'all, I'm, I'm feeding the, the table more than I'm feeding myself. I could have used a little bit more salt. I don't know if I can eat this roll. We'll 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 taste it. I'm gonna take one for the team and taste it. I don't think I'm gonna eat the whole roll. Too many. I eat carbs, but I'm scared if I overdo it, it'll make me sick. So I don't want to overdo because like I said I eat carbs but I don't eat over like 250 carbs maybe a day probably sorry it smells so good This is good. People ask me, do I miss pork? Mm -mm, because I do eat bacon occasionally. I just don't eat it daily. Like, y'all see me eat the sausage. I have sausages. I prefer turkey sausages, but I have regular sausages, sausages sometimes. I just don't eat them every day. Like for breakfast, I prefer just like um, some scrambled eggs with some guac or uh, avocado and a fruit. I either have apples or some grapefruit or some um, mandarins for breakfast. You can click the link in the description to grab your coldest water bottle. I 
I like this bottle, this particular size. I like this size. And I think this is, it's not on the bottom, the 16 ounce, because it fits. I have a, it fits in my cup holder in the car. I have another size that don't fit in there. And of course that big gallon jug one don't fit in there either. Mmm. This is pretty good. Normally I would probably be eating something like some cauliflower rice with some probably still green beans, but I would either roast them in the oven. Or steam them some kind of way. More than likely. Mm. I can tell you now I'm probably not going to be able to eat all this. I'm already kind of feeling queasy. Some people eat this. I don't. Now if I can help it. How many days did y'all have off for the holiday? I hear some people say they had it off a week. Some people say, well, since COVID, it's like they have off more time like normally. Before COVID, you couldn't get off for a holiday. Now some people say they got the whole week off for a holiday. Some people say like they got two weeks off. I guess it depends on where you work because some people that work from home, I think those jobs, weren't too quick to let people off. What is it? Oh, that's from the cornbread. It's this. Like some of the cornbread that was cooked. Yep. Have y'all been watching uh, Love and Marriage Chunks? Well, that is my show. That one. And have y'all been watching the reunion shows to the Real Housewives? Well, they the last reunion show to the Real Housewives of the Potomac. That show, something else. Back at the beginning of November, I think it's like the second week of November, somewhere around the 11th, maybe, and when the last episode of the show, when Candace admitted when she was messing with Mia, and she had, had said something along the lines of, I've been here before. When she was um, throwing stuff in her face or whatever, was proof enough for me that Candace purposely was messing with Monique, and all of it, all of that was a setup and intentional. I mean, like that was so obvious. All her fake crime after she provoked Candace. I mean, after Candace provoked Monique. And did all that. Then she sat there and admitted it. That just. And then turned around and wanted to press charges on her. Like, she's a mother. The comments that Candace say. You know. 
and let you know what kind of person she is for, for real. Like, she is a an adult, spoiled, mean girl. Like, she really technically never grew up in life. Like, she never... She still has a, a schoolgirl mentality. She's such a child. Like, she's so immature. And that's how she carries herself. And then, it's funny because... Everybody want to act like Chris is like a scrub. And I, I'm i not going to lie. I, at first, to me, he seemed like it too. But now it comes off to me like Chris has just really been trying to cater to Candace White. He technically been putting his career on, on hold and just trying to be there and do what Candace wants. Like, just kind of babying Candace. Like, there's so much more he can be doing. I feel like he hasn't been doing it. Because of all of Candace's whining and, cr and crying. And and carrying on and complaining. And I think what he's been doing is catering, catering to her. Basically, she's been manipulating him. That's what it's been coming off at. And it's funny because <laughs> one of those last episodes when she was throwing the salad mix and he was in there cleaning up. And he was like, I don't clean up at my own house. And people was like, oh, he had to clean up. He just said he don't clean up at his own house. Why y'all feeling sorry for him for having to clean up now? Like, whatever. But I'm glad. Uh, it's funny because he's seeing right now that chick is that Bravo chick. And he's seeing that Candace is about to make them lose that chick. So until he can get his career going again, he really need Candace to, to uh, stop her behavior because before she get fired from that show being stupid because... They need to keep that check. They got that house to pay for. And why Candace keep acting like that's her house? You all know the girl mama. If they sold the other house. The money from it was her mama's money. Which means if that's the money she got. That's still her mama money. Which means the house she got. If she used that money from her mama. Her mama still got say so in the house she got now. But I ain't the one to gossip. And I get that her mama don't like Chris. But I don't think it's right. That she be running around all of Candace's friends. Like, talking about Chris, like, who does that? Like, and the whole Giselle and Robin thing has got so old and worn out. Because it's true what they say. If you say anything to Giselle, she sits back and looks like a pound puppy in the face. And Robin sits over there and cackalacks and defends her. Robin needs to sit over there and shut up and take care of Robin's business. Because Robin's not handling her own business. Which the situation with Run, one, I kind of keep Run, one, one is just selfish. I'm not even going to lie. He wants what he wants. He don't really even care about Robin's feelings about nothing. He's really selfish. He's just a selfish person. He thinks the sun rises and sets on his behind. At uh, any time... He's like the male version of Candace. If you tell him he does anything wrong, he wigs out like. And runs away. You a grown man, dude. What are you running away from? 
you ain't got the kahunas to listen to what she's saying that you do wrong. Nobody is perfect. We all do stuff wrong. She trying to help you so you can be better. What are you running from like some little coward? Dude, sit down. Stop being a weenie. It's such a turn off. I don't know how Robin puts up with it. It's not okay. Like, it ain't like she told you you killed somebody, dude. She just said. When she had the kids, she was there changing all the diapers and you was playing ball and cheating. It was what it was. I don't want to hear that. Why well, we got to talk about it? Okay, say I'm sorry. Yeah, I did it. Own it. Say, I'm sorry I did it. It was a tough time. You right, I wasn't there. But this time, if you have another baby, Robin, I'm going to be there and in, in for the long haul. But I understand what Robin saying. Have another baby. She the one that be doing all the work. Why he do him? Because for some reason, he think everything in life is simple. And he the only one that got something to do hard. He needs like some kind of rude awakening. Where he been at with these road color glasses on, child? Let me wear them. And see life so simple for us women. Man, I'm over this whole Giselle and Jamal situation because we we tend to think real negative negative of Jamal but at this point I feel like the situation with Jamal was for Giselle to have a storyline I think he he was seeing somebody he knew he was seeing somebody I think Giselle made a deal with that man to make some money like she was like well come do this with me make a little money or help me keep my job and I think he cared enough about her to want to, want to see her keep her job and making money on that show to go do that and help her and it made him come out looking like the bad guy and he took he was willing to take that L for Giselle because he cared enough about her to do so that's what I think happened that's what it looks like happened Well, as far as Ashley, I think Michael still be cheating with men, women, and whatever else he can poke. Because that's how he carries himself. But, keep in mind, that's how the marriage was set up from the beginning. Anytime you do that threesome stuff, and you act there like that, and you set your marriage up like that, that's how it's gonna be and that's what you can expect women always want to do this little threesome thing and think they're gonna have control of the situation you don't have control of the situation with that threesome stuff he's still gonna keep doing it behind your back all you did was give him permission to do it by having threesomes you never have control all you do is encourage him the piece of cake all right there something all you doing is giving him permission to continue to do it because he's gonna be like well she down with it. i'm just gonna carry home or well, she gonna be he gonna see that she down with it anyway so we can go on and do it and we're gonna go home and do it again with her it don't give you no control over the situation you think he gonna wait Till he ready, till you ready, and you approve of the girl to do it again. Y'all don't have no bit more control over the situation than before. Y'all ain't controlling nothing by agreeing to the threesome. You setting your relationship uh, up for failure. And women lie to themselves when they do that. How many stories you hear about? Men agreeing for a woman to set up a marriage like that to where 
she can have all the threesomes. I'll wait. Exactly. But anyway. And then everybody on Wendy. I don't know if it's true if Wendy husband cheated or not. Everybody talking about when Wendy got her breast and butt done, she changed. Wendy didn't change. Wendy just stopped being fake in front of y'all. Wendy was who she was at home. She just wasn't who she was in front of y'all. So then when she started being herself in front of y'all, y'all called her fake. Everybody know as a black woman in a certain industry, you have to put on a certain persona and face in front of certain people. Y'all was getting work, Wendy. Wendy got comfortable with y'all and she gave y'all none work, Wendy. And y'all couldn't handle it. Leave Wendy alone. That was good. It was rough because tomorrow we detox. Anyway. We detox, get back on track. Well, let's talk about this messy Mia. Mia be lying when she going back and telling the story. She be instigating and lying. And I'm pretty sure, like some of y'all said, that's probably what she used to doing down there to the strip club. And when she was at that <laughs> part one of the reunion show talking about uh, where she worked. <laughs> A high paid call girl. Uh, basically what they was calling you. What she talking about? She kept her boy shorts on and she was topless. I don't believe that. I just think that she can't say what she was doing because she can't get the place she worked in trouble. That's what I think. But I did get tickled <laughs> when Andy told Wendy, you don't know if G busting it <laughs> when he be <laughs> you don't know Wendy y'all can't say that and why is her clitoris needing to be work that big of a deal to y'all it may need a little work it needed to be a little work if it's a little boy I was boy out and she got it fixed she got it fixed but y'all get too invested in other people's body parts don't get so invested in it if you're not worried you can't get invested in it like that and then at the same time, be like, well, I don't care. You do care, though. Like, you do care. You really do. Like, you really do care. Regardless of what she was doing, it's her body. She can get it fixed if she wants to. But I like old Miss Emil. I think she has a good balance. To the store. And what's the other little lady named a scholar? I like a scholar. I think she's a good combination to the show, and I hope she comes back. All in all, it was <sighs> I think I got something more too. Mm. What is this for? It was a slow season at the uh, Real Housewives of Potomac. Karen, I don't care. Y'all, I love Karen. I don't have much to say about uh, the queen of, is it Sully? What? Cut County? Whatever county. I don't have too much to say. I like Karen. I don't have nothing negative to say about it. I, out of everybody in the cast, Karen is one of my favorites. You know, I don't do that stand stuff. Why I just get one person that I support. I like Karen. She could have been a fan. She and her husband. Her husband a little flirty. You can tell he be looking at the other women. She gonna be gonna have to snatch him and get him together. But anyway. 
Who else was it? That's it. Ash and these big cornbread fed babies she be having. I tell you, but Ash and Dad, go. You can't leave the baby, pump some milk, and leave the baby with the nanny and go out one time without that big horse carriage of a stroller. Child, you can leave me at and, I, and I'm talking as a mother of three and then three grandkids. Leave the baby at home a little bit and girl, go out and have a time where you don't have to sit breastfeed feed a diaper and roll a stroller it's okay and i'm sure your husband will make you care my child you i guess you hire well i guess you scared to hire a nanny because he'll sleep with her whether it's a male or a female but girl find somewhere maybe you can find a place to care where they not there with him and you got to worry about him sleeping with a child figure out how to work it out either way i don't know when it comes to him it's a lose I don't know. Bless it. But child, let me get on. Let me go. Because we're going to talk about Real Housewives of Atlanta coming on the next season. Child, that, that deserves a whole video by itself. 